Do you guys see this? Do you see this? You know, I didn't want to have to make this video. I thought, you know, just maybe Activision was a good company. But look at this article title. Now, I can't really go in and say what was found because they can take down the video. So I will leave a link to this article in the description down below so you guys can go see what's what. But Activision, you did such a great job with Modern Warfare Remastered. You know, the fact that you went back and remastered an old Call of Duty is just, it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. But something like this, this is what can ruin the game. This is what people have been mad about, you know, since Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare, the whole weapon variant thing, absolutely broke the game. You know, you get the bow, you get the Obsidian Steed or the Inferno, and it was GG. Or you get the freaking Speakeasy. It was GG, because those were the best guns in the game. And the only way you can get those is out of supply drops. So, it looks like that's the direction Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered has taken. And Raven Software, I know you guys are like the head people behind the whole remaster. Step up, do something. I get Activision. It's probably given all your funding to be able to do this. They give you the right to do this. But who is going to stop Activision? You know, I thought EA was just the scummiest of developers. Getting people to buy in on microtransactions. To basically pay to win. But Call of Duty is going down that route. And that's what people have been so furious about. You know, Call of Duty, you know, Activision steps back and it's like, okay, we see people don't like exosuits. They don't like jetpacks. So that's what the problem with Call of Duty is. As long as we fix that, that's the reason they came out with the remaster. That is not the only thing. You know, you get crap like this. Supply drops. We hate supply drops. I get they're probably racking in a bunch of money for supply drops. And judging by the weapons that are in this, have been found in the files, you know, they would probably make a lot more money. Uh, like I said, I d highly advise you guys to go check this article out and uh, just basically look at all the weapons and stuff that were found. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to get this video copyrighted or just striked or anything or get taken down. So, I, I just, I hate this so much. I hated supply drops. And... You know, it took me all of Black Ops 3 to get the Peacekeeper, which was a gun I really, really wanted. I literally, I got the Peacekeeper the last week before Infinite Warfare and COD 4 came out. And I don't even play the game anymore. I can't tell you how much money I spent in Black Ops 3 trying to get weapons that I would like. Basically to make the game more enjoyable to me. Make it more, you know, basically broken because a lot of those guns were just so good. If you would just get your hands on one, you could just... You could go off with it. And, you know, I got the Peacekeeper, and that gun is super dumb. But to bring this to COD 4, that is just something you really don't want to do. And I highly advise you guys, if they do bring supply drops to COD 4, I get that you want some of these weapons and just loot or anything that's going to be in these supply drops. I get it. Don't do it. You know, we keep breaking in, and, you know, we keep doing this, and they're just going to keep doing it. Honestly, we have to teach them that we don't want this. Uh, you know, there was a Black Ops 3 uh, supply drop thing for a while where we just wouldn't buy supply drops. But, you know, there's a couple big YouTubers doing that. But people were still buying supply drops. You know, Activision would see something like that's going on. And they'd come out with a triple play bundle which gives you a guaranteed weapon. And people were like, ooh, hello. So they broke in and bought it. And they bought a couple of them, actually, sometimes. So... You know, this is just very disappointing coming from Activision. You know, I really want to like Activision as a company. You know, I've been with Call of Duty ever since COD 4 originally came out. That's 10 years ago. And I have bought every Call of Duty every year and enjoyed most of them. You know, past few years have been pretty rough. But I do like Call of Duty. I just hate the whole microtransaction thing. Um, you know... And I don't even I don't even like supply drops. Honestly, if you're going to add some of the stuff into the game, make sure it's available to everybody. Is that really so hard? And you know, I just I hate this. And I want to know what your guys' opinions are on 
Call of Duty 4 supply drops. And just supply drops in general. What are your what's your idea of microtransactions? Do you like them? Do you hate them? You know, there is a bit of rush when you get something that you really wanted that you couldn't have for a while. I that is kind of nice, but the fact that, you know, all these other people are getting it and you're having to spend hundreds of dollars on this game and not get it, you know. That's hard to say. So, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.